An encounter spelled the end. Prime accused in the Kwaimato siblings' murder has been shot dead, but activists allege a fake encounter. Now, the police officers in self-defense, they opened fire. And in that, uh, Kish Morgan Krishnan, he died. But the death of Mohan Raj comes as a late Diwali for Kwaimato citizens to celebrate while politicians fight out for a hearing at the assembly. While Congressmen Chavan and Kalmadi are shown the door, an angry BJP demands A. Raja be the next one to bite the dust. TNCC Chief Tankabalu is the latest victim of the deadly emails. The life threats made to him are alleged to come from the BCK. But taking centre stage at the State Assembly today, the new school fee row comes up. The school education minister wants to be a new spectator. Welcome back to the news tonight. I'm Evelyn Matthew, 9 on the clock, 9.30. In fact, uh, let's also take a look at the national headlines. Another Chavan is in the fourth front runner to replace the Chief Minister of Maharashtra. Joining him are many in queue. The Army Chief tells NDTV that they cannot allow scams like others to taint the forces. Officers are asked to stand up against corruption. Indra Nui says that Obama has had run-ins with big business but will look out for a midterm course correction. And 19 civilians are shot dead by a Bodo militant outfit to avenge the death of one of their carders. Hours after Dr. Manmohan Singh and Sonia Gandhi bid goodbye to Barack Obama, the American president, it was time for mission cleanup. The Congress High Command has asked Ashok Chavan and Suresh Kalmadi following corruption charges. So will A. Raja, the Union Telecom Minister, be the next to go? According to the Comptroller and Auditor General report, the Minister played favouritism in allocation of the valuable 2G spectrum to operators, thus causing a loss of nearly 1.7 crore rupees to the Exchequer. So just how much longer can A. Raja stick to his post? The Comptroller and Auditor General's final report on the 2G Spectrum scam is out. It says the 2G Spectrum scandal has cost the Exchequer a loss to the tune of 1,76,000 crore rupees. It has been 10 days since the topmost court in the country advised the centre to act upon the CAG report. The Supreme Court even said that the CBI's investigation so far on the scandal has been slipshod. But the minister in charge of the telecom ministry, A. Raja, continues to smile. Perhaps he knows that the Prime Minister, Dr. Manmohan Singh, is not really the king here. A. Raja, a DMK MP, enjoys the trust of his party chief, M. Karunanidhi, the chief minister of Tamil Nadu and an important ally of the UPA. The minister in the dock has reiterated that he will not quit. At any point, will you think of quitting around this controversy, sir, now? If it is necessary, I can, but where is the necessity? Despite the cold winter in New Delhi, the heat now seems to be on A. Raja. The opposition in the parliament demanded that Raja be also asked to quit. It is an interesting paradox for the main opposition leader in the state. After initially writing several letters to the Prime Minister asking him to sack A. Raja, Jay Lalita has toned down her voice on the issue in the state assembly. Sources say Amma is walking the tightrope. On one hand, trying to woo the Congress and on the other hand trying to capitalize on the corruption allegations against Raja. The Chief Minister has defended his Dalit leader by saying many in Delhi are unable to digest his confidant's success and so these false allegations. But for how long can the Congress give the DMK time? And will Karunanidhi keep Raja at the cost of his alliance with the Congress ahead of the crucial assembly polls in the state next year? In Chennai, Radhika Ayer, NDTV. Well, in some more news from the state, the chief of Tamil Nadu Congress Committee, Mr. K.V. Tangabalu, has received a handwritten death threat and it is alleged to be from the VCK party. These allegations come after the VCK was also blamed for the desecration of a statue of Rajiv Gandhi's in the city recently. And uh, K.V. Tangabalu, the TNCC president, did speak to us on NDTV Hindu. Here's what he had to say. मेरे <laughs> 
மக்களுக்காக பணியாற்றிய காங்கிரஸ் கட்சியின் தலைவர் என்ற முறையில் இதை பற்றி நான் பெரிதாக கருதவில்லை ஆனால் சட்டமன் கடமையை செய்ய வேண்டும் என்று விரும்புகிறோம் கடிதம் வந்ததாக எனக்கு தகவல் சொல்லப்பட்டது படித்து காட்டப்பட்டது வழக்கமாக தமிழ்நாடு காங்கிரஸ் அலுவலகத்துக்கு வரும் இது போன்ற கடிதங்களை என்னுடைய தமிழ்நாடு காங்கிரஸ் தலைமை செயலாளர் காவல்துறைக்கு அனுப்பியிருப்பதாக எனக்கு தகவல் சொல்லப்பட்டது இன்றைக்கு இரவு And with more inputs into the story, joining us live from the Hindu studios is our political reporter Shabir Ahmed who joins us live right now. Shabir, uh, allegations against the VCK by the Congress are not new but this time around, under what proof really have uh, they once again made those charges? Well, Evelyn, uh, the war of words between the DMK's main ally, the VCK and the Congress is... Uh, ongoing and all we do know that uh, in fact uh, they were engaged in a bitter war of words uh, where uh, Thirma Valavan lashed out at Congress and said that uh, uh, the Congress party is actually trying to create a rift within the DMK alliance. So that was the allegation that was made by Thirma Valavan and in fact uh, the Congress leaders also re uh, retaliated. Uh, they said that uh, you know uh, Thirma Valavan whatever he is doing his interviews and uh, his views on the alliance and the Congress party is not in the interest of the alliance. And so that was the war of words uh, which were uh, going on between uh, both the both the parties and this time they say that uh, the the content of the letter in fact uh, whatever has been mentioned in the letter is something perhaps uh, which uh, points uh, which 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 could uh, which says that one can point fingers at the vck in fact uh, the very mention about the rajiv gandhi statue desecration uh, in the letter is something which has raised uh, suspicion that this could be a handiwork of uh, uh, some vck party members evelyn right uh, what can you also tell us about the content of that letter what was in it do you have any uh, information about that well it was a handwritten letter uh, by some uh, unknown element in fact uh, it claimed that uh, one person named ilango and uh, he claims that he is uh, a vck party member and he has also very clearly threatened uh, uh, tncc president tangabalu to stop uh, uh, talking about uh, you know vck party and uh, uh, blaming tirma valavan for the rajiv gandhi desecration uh, uh, rajiv gandhi statue desecration in fact uh, uh, the letter says that uh, if uh, the tncc president and his uh, uh, congress leaders uh, in the state uh, do not stop uh, uh, you know uh, talking about uh, rajiv gandhi uh, desecration and blaming tirma valavan then they will also uh, uh, meet the same fate that uh, Rajiv Gandhi met 18, ago, 18 years ago in Tamil Nadu. So that is the open threat uh, that has been uh, given in that letter, Evelyn. Right. Uh, thanks very much indeed, Shabhi, for joining us with that update. So the police clearly on their toes to find out the author behind those mails. Well, still ahead on news tonight, the winter session of the State Assembly gets too cold to handle for the new head of the School Fee Committee, Justice Pandya.